Now okay. You, now you could probably lose that boots, right? Whoa, boy! I didn't want to do that! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ocarina of Time. I'm Kirikon. And I'm Shad. And thank you for joining us. And, uh, we're gonna check this room now. It didn't take us too long to get back you know, to this area, but it took longer than it should have because some dumbass kept uh, smacking uh, their face into, gu into guillotines and uh, falling into uh, fake holes. So this room was completely pointless, wasn't it? Use the lens of truth. There's a box. There's a treasure chest. Where? I don't know. It says it in the map, oh. though. Therapy. Something we don't need. Lots of arrows in this dungeon. Ow. Okay, get the hover boots. Ah! Run! No, 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 no! Oh. You made it. That was... Luck. <laughs> Very much big time. Alright, so enemies you killed to unlock a chest don't respawn. Ow. I guess the. Ow. Okay, let's take off the slippers. Let's think, if he had slid the block into its place, we wouldn't have had to. Yeah. Maybe. Well, once you complete the puzzle, it doesn't reset. It just... So it did the... Oh, he might... He still left the room because he messed up. Let's reset the puzzle, even though you were coming in from the other direction. Where is the skull Tola, though? I don't know. Maybe you hop on top of the block and it's on the side of the cave or something? Ugh... Later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Which means we're not getting this Skulltella at all. Nope. Sorry, everybody. Sorry for the delay. Hopefully I remember to cut that out. Ah, that was a big dumb. Did you just chug like half of that in one go? No. Let's take a go. I chugged the lemonade one because it was lemonade and delicious. The lemonade goes down smooth. At least for me. And now I'm rambling. Oh no! Your nemesis has shown back up. This guy's my nemesis? You can't avoid fighting him. That's the guy who knocked off the platform and fell down onto the boat. And there's his brother that he also knocked down off the platform. So I'm guessing you're stuck in a loop right now until you defeat these guys? Nope. Oh, okay, yeah, you're actually making progress here. Does the boat crash and sink? Because that would be great. Oh, yeah, it does. Wow, that sunk fast. Yeah. Is that a wall master? Yep. Uh, 
I think I saw one. Over there. Yeah. These guys must be real annoying right here. Oh! Oh no. Oh, you didn't realize they were invisible? Take you out of the dungeon? No. Okay, because that would be bad. Very, very. Uh, I don't think they can do it when they're vertical anyway. Uh, it's only when they drop from the ceiling? Yeah. Vertical? That's not the right term. Yeah. Grounded. Yeah, that'll work. Say that is a lot of blood on the ground. I'm surprised that's a Nintendo game. It's been censored in later editions, I believe. Still surprising. Good job. I've been trying to do that for a while, to be honest. Shit. Where's the last one? He shouldn't die. Yeah. Well, enemies like the wall master I always find to be very, very annoying. They're one of the only enemies I find to be an actual threat. Mostly because they legitimately impede your progress. Oh, um... I think fire? I guess. Oh, you're supposed to trigger something through the dam. No, you can burn him. Yay, fine out. That's not violence. Ah! Really? You just thought you needed a hug. Hug this. <laughs> Boss is bongo bongo, right? Yes. I don't know how I remember that. Wow, he went down like a little bitch. I just realized you're much very low. Yeah. I've been taking a few licks here and there. We still do not have the map. Alright, we've been in that door. Yeah, just ignore him. This door has not been opened yet. And I'm guessing the last corner is the door we originally came in. Yeah. This is the door we came in. So, same! Is there another door inside that one? Yeah. Where? Alright, so we gotta go that way. We've been in this door. Are you sure? Positive. That's the one we came in last. Before we went to the... Yep. Okay. Ah! Link! Go through the freaking door. And then we've been in this door straight in front of you, so we gotta go... Yeah. yeah. Have? Are you sure? Positive. Just to be on the safe side. Oh. Well, fuck. My sense of direction must have got messed up then. There's a scopella. 
So there it is. Boop. Boop. All right, we must have accidentally skipped this door and we were going around the maze. And I missed. Oh, not far enough. There we go. Oh, it did drop something. A little bit of magic, it looks like. All we needed to get from in here was the boss key. So it's the opposite corner we need to get to. Wrong one. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. I think we've been through all the doors, haven't we? Yep, there's one in each corner. It's that door right there that you can see on the edge that we need to get to. That is correct. So what's this, hover boots or? Unless there's something else you need to get with a hook shot. are marking a pathway that's invisible? No. I cannot remember what we're supposed to do here. Ah! Oh! Yeah, you hit the bombs and it not makes the bridge, doesn't it? I think so. Yep, that's... Pots are marking a hey dumbass look here spot. <laughs> and then the dumbasses eventually looked. Okay, and that thing on the other side is there used to be another statue that fell and then fell yeah. even more. <laughs> Adult Link's too big. For the love of God, grab that heart. Is that the truth? Right, that thing. Huh. What is she marking? Maybe a scarecrow point? Oh! Yeah, I bet... yeah. Okay. That's why I might need those when I don't. Right? Whoa, boy. I didn't want to do that! Probably should have lost the hover boots before you went through the door. Probably. Because they made you slide right into the pit. 
Time for nobody's favorite boss. AKA Wallmaster Extreme. I just made that up. Okay. First things first. You okay there, controller? There's like maximum vibration on that thing. Ow. Not doing great. Don't you just use the lens of truth so you can see his eye? Yes. You forgot, didn't you? It, it's been a while since I've done this. Out. Ah. Or I can get run over. This is so much easier on the 3DS version. Ah, damn it! Yeah, Majora's Mask is a lot nicer with 3DS as well, since I can just crap mask Okay. Ah! Huh. What? You only got one hit in that time. I guess it was a time-based thing? I don't know. Either that or he's one hit away from death and he didn't want to make it too easy for you. Yeah. Oh! I never found Bongo Bongo to be that difficult for a boss. I did as a kid, because it's too stupid to take off the hover boots. Yeah, that would screw you over. And if you know to use the iron boots, then he's a cakewalk. I don't think I ever used the iron boots, I just dealt with that. That would make sense to stop yourself from bouncing so much. Yeah. Empa. Right. That would make sense. It's in her village. Yes, I don't know why you're telling us this exposition. We've all already known. We know. I swear, I, I, I'm just picking on the game a little because I do love it. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, you're, you're not telling us anything new. We know. Yeah. It's kind of like how, or like the games with really long cutscenes before a boss fight, and if you mess up, you have to watch the cutscene <laughs> again. <laughs> it always annoyed the hell out of me. <laughs> Thank goodness for the era of skippable cutscenes. Preferably the ones that have it in the menu, uh, so that you can not only pause a cutscene, but if you accidentally, yeah, hit the wrong button, it doesn't automatically skip it. Yeah, like if you put your controller down and the shoulder button gets pressed, and then you get yelled at by everyone else playing with you. Yeah, I, I uh, also like the ones where you have to press and hold a certain button for it to see. That works yeah, too. And it just pops up that if you keep holding it, it's going to skip. Yeah, that, that one's fine. 
But yeah, press any button to skip. Not the greatest. What's with Link's face? It's just like, yay, I got another one. He looks a little like Leon. Just vaguely. With the way his hair is parted. No? No. You don't see it? No. I don't know why I think that. Maybe I'm comparing him to one of the like parody cartoon Leons I've seen that has his hair like that. Probably. Because yeah. Leon's got like the uh, 2000s emo do. Yeah, I think I'm thinking of... Yeah, it's a parody cartoon Leon with like blank expression on his face. Incidentally, Leon wears the uh, emo do pretty well. Yeah. That, and he's got, like, the baby boy face in the remake of RE2. And it's just so funny. Yeah. Okay, which one of you morons has something for me? Is it you? It's probably you. And it's uh, not you. That one? Yes. It'd be nice if the, it's only the ones that you haven't talked to yet were... That's nice. I thought we got bomb shoes in the uh, next dungeon. I guess we just got bomb shoes early. Anyways, as I was going to say before, we got that lackluster reward. It'd be nice if it was the ones that you haven't talked to after freeing them that was a whole excited up and down yeah. jumping. Seems like a good place to save. Yep. Now what? Now we replenish our used-up ferry. Right. Whoa! Teleportation! Four to six weeks later. Okay. Well, that was helpful. I think they have the gate open for you. Or do you open the gate? Yes. Oh. Wait. What trials? <laughs> well, how'd you do that? I just hit B. Ah, so B skips. Sometimes. So what two trials, though, where you need to know that information? I don't remember. I, I know there's one where I have to uh, follow a ghost. And I don't know what the other one is. Whoop, wrong button. I know you gotta follow the flags. Did you use the lens of truth? Okay, maybe it's follow the flags first and then you follow the ghost. Alright. Ah! Um, no. Oh. You need to use long shot to get to the boxes, I believe. That makes sense. Like, hop on top of that box, roll the shot to the other boxes. Uh, yeah, there's flags in front of you. Uh, I can't see them. Not right there, there's a sign. Carpet merchant? I guess, maybe. Right there. Oh, there's a bridge. Do not try jumping to him, you gotta talk yeah. to him from a distance. Oh, I was gonna use the. I don't think I can, I think I need to hover. I thought it was lock on and talk. Nope. I'm gonna have to uh, read that again. And I'm selling stuff strange and rare from all blah blah blah. blah. A dangerous running object. Bomb chews, I bet. 
Yeah, I bet. That's what it is as well, because there's no nothing vital you need from that guy. What? Uh, where? I think you need to get back to that flag right there. Uh, now, yeah. Right there, go to that one. No. It's always a pain in the ass to do this, because you got to be right next to them so you can see the next flag, I think. Because they re drastically reduce the draw distance. Over there. Yeah. Right there. Uh, I saw it for a second, and then you did the lock-on deal. I think I see one right there. Yeah, I think I see it, too. This one straight ahead. I say no. I'm like right up next to the screen. There ish, it looks like maybe. No. Oh. I thought I saw one. Yeah, I see it. Can we use the Sun Song to make it daytime? Would that make it easier? I don't know. Right, there's one. Yeah, I think I think these are operating like on gate logic though. There's always going to be two at a time. Aha! Oh, I was still wearing the hover boots. I did not even notice. <laughs> Probably should have gone inside the tomb, so if I get lost, I'd respawn better. But too late now. Yeah. Is there anything in the tomb? Uh, maybe a skull tower or something, I don't know. Oh, I forgot about these little shits. And this is a proximity thing, right? Yeah. Oh, I see two flags. Well, we can't just head for them though, otherwise you'd screw yourself over. Or it was probably flags at the tomb. How he said he wouldn't play, but he's just going in circles. He wants to go to the flags, I guess. There we go. All right, so we could have probably headed towards the flags the first time we saw him. Not necessarily. Might have been a trick. Nice. I think that just keeps spawning, though. Probably just run for your life. Just the oasis, nothing. Yeah, it's mostly just the entrance to, uh... So, like any true desert, it's mostly empty. Okay. And then we go in there and it's like, yeah, you're too big to enter. So then we gotta come back to Child Link. E Ow. I think you came up ahead with that little exchange. E okay. I can't open that yet. 
Yeah, I think we gotta be child link, then we get the gauntlets. Yeah. Get the gauntlets, and then, uh... Uh, you come back here as an adult, and you can move that, and you get the mirror shield, and then you win. Yes, twin world. Oh yeah, that one is the boss for this area. I only remember that, because I, I love the boss theme. Don't you have to try to crawl through the hole, or I guess not. Just go in and exit. Yep. Now, see, if we did that, we'd just face plant. Yeah, break the bones in our legs, one of the two. There's a fucking owl! Yay, now we're getting more music. Whoa. You've got a bow! Snipe it! Snipe it! Snipe it! Not sniping it. That owl's the bane of every ocarina of time player. Do you want me to repeat that? I think it just pissed everyone off that it started on yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like we should team up or anything. Yeah, just make me do all the work. Okay. I figure we can warp back to the Temple of Time. Oop. That way we can switch to Kid Link, and then next time we start, we're already partly there. Alright. And we'll just go and grab... Or I guess put away our sword. Don't worry, I'll use the big Goron sword. <laughs> if only right. <laughs> that would be quite humorous. <laughs> Yeah, just Kid Link sitting there like, Oka Bunga! Well, I mean, if he has the gauntlets, yeah. Why not? Oh, wait. Kid Link can't use the gauntlets. Okay. So, with that, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back for the next one. Later. <laughs>